The English major reads Voltaire, madame. Yes. He's very clever. You see how he buries his wife on the hills, Ducot? He's telling us he'll be buried beside her rather than give up the position. He is bluffing. He has no more than a hundred men, General. Beg pardon, General, but he has horse, foot, and artillery. He said so, didn't he, dear? He said so, certainly. He lied. I saw no cavalry or artillery. He is bluffing. And so are we, Duco. This is merely a reconnaissance force. I have infantry, but no cavalry or artillery. My orders tell me I must retire if I meet serious resistance. My orders from Paris are to press the British before the new year. I say attack now, sir. Major Duco. I am willing to attack on your assurance the English have neither cavalry or artillery. But I want it in writing. Of course, General. I take full responsibility. And of course, I also take credit for its success. When we advance in line, each pea is apart, and it is very hard to pick up one pea with a fork. But to eat the peas, we move them together, like so. And then, we pick them all up. And how would Major Sharp go about moving all your peas together? Cavalry. But Duco says he has no cavalry. Maybe you have misunderstood, my dear lady. Cavalry! Mon Dieu! Mr. Gillian, rocket artillery, prepare for bombardment. Ah! Fuses, 